The Chauvet Cave was discovered in southern France in 1994 by speleologist Jean-Marie Chauvet, from whom the name of the cave was taken. The cave is about 400 meters long, with many different chambers of different depictions. A few are the Skull Chamber, Red Panels Gallery, Chamber of the Bear Hollows, the Lost Gallery, and the Belvedere Gallery. There is much speculation on the age of the cave paintings, but even with the latest date of 21,000 years ago, Chauvet Cave still holds the oldest known cave paintings in the world. So what use did prehistoric humans have for art? So the art at places like Chauvet Cave, we think, has, could have had a lot of different purposes. And honestly, it's a bit of an archaeological mystery in terms of what they could have been used for. Um, one sort of classic explanation is that they have to do with ritual belief of some sort. That the animals that we see in caves like Chauvet Cave or Lascaux Cave, all these Paleolithic sites, uh, might have something to do with hunting magic. You know, you paint a hunting scene to guarantee that you are, are successful on the next hunt. Um, there are some kinds of art that are not as easy for us to understand, that are shapes, circles, and dashes, and dots, and um, they're called entoptic art. And the idea with those is that, apparently, those are the sorts of images that you'll see if you are maybe a little bit high, uh, maybe going on some sort of vision quest. You've fasted, you've maybe ingested something um, potent, and you're a shaman, you go back into the cave and you have a vision, and those shapes that you've created are the result of that vision. Um, so both of those are sorts of ritual explanations. Um, fertility is another thing that's sometimes invoked, and one of the reasons we tend to favor explanations like that over, you know, just decoration, decoration of your living quarters, because we don't actually find a lot of artifacts at these sites. They're not places where people were living or uh, places where lots of people were gathering. So it, it looks like for the most part these early cave sites were almost individualized places for ritual experiences. I think that's the best current understanding of what they were used for. Other theories for the purposes of prehistoric art are communication and the documentation of these people's lives. Or how is it so important? Absolutely. So, you know, today artists offer us a new way of looking at the world. And they give us something that just science can't give us and that um, other sorts of fields can't give us, something that is innately human. And these sites are so important because that's the moment where that innately human spark, that human something shows up on the scene. Um, and that's not to say that, you know, other animals are out there, you know, crunching numbers, doing science. That's something that's uniquely human too. Um, but this ability to think symbolically and think creatively, go beyond the problem solving of bare bone survival, and start using imagination. We don't think that other animals do that. We think that that's something that's very special about us. And so these sites capture that moment, or at least we think they do. Chauvet Cave is the earliest one we found so far. Um, who's to say what we find in 10, 20, 30 years? But they tell us the story of that, one of the earliest moments where we can say, okay, these are for sure people. Um, and really kind of trace that, what is something that's really important to us today back into prehistory. That's why I would say they're important. Other people believe that this cave art is important because it helps prove the possibility that prehistoric humans moved out of Africa to populate the world. This is believed because of African animals being depicted in a French cave. Not only does Chauvet Cave hold the earliest known cave paintings, but it also holds early cinematic drawings. So why should people care? They should care because they're awesome. I mean, like, have you seen the art? They are um, 
just incredible testimonies to human creativity. Um, somebody had to think to do that. You know, now we take art for granted. We have museums full of, you know, Monet's and Picasso's and lesser known artists. So it's, you know, people's fridges are covered with the art that their kids produced in kindergarten. But that wasn't something that we always did. That was something that somebody had to sit around and think, hey, if I smash up this iron oxide and mix it with some water, I could go create something. And that's a fascinating decision to make. Um, it's something that we take for granted for today, but it came from somewhere. And more than that, more than just being this incredible record of human creativity, it also informs us about all sorts of other parts of these people's lives. You know, what was it like beyond art to be an early human? We can get a sense of what they were hunting, what was important to them, what's, where they were living. You know, they had probably were living not necessarily in these caves, but somewhere nearby. So they're just part of a larger story about the origins of our species, the origins of our cultures um, that are key for us to understanding our roots. We can only, our ability to go forward as a species is, I think most archaeologists would agree, is only as good as our ability to understand where we came from. And if this is one of those early moments of where we came from, then I think a lot of people should care about it. The Chauvet Cave is important because of the age of the paintings and what they represent. A replica is currently being made close by to ensure that the Chauvet Cave is being preserved while still allowing people to view and study the cave paintings. The reason a replica is being made is because each time a person enters, the climate of the cave is disturbed, which destroys the art. The Chauvet Cave preserves the earliest history of the human race and a culture that is long gone.